Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I've released a new version of NoTrack, version 0.8.9. This is the network-wide solution for blocking adverts and tracking sites. Predominantly tracking sites, although advert sites are blocked as a byproduct. So we now have a brand new theme, and as well as a couple of other features, so I'll just go through it here in this video. One of the prominent new features to be added is this incognito mode. The reason for this is I have this section here for showing the DNS queries that have been made throughout the day. This is login on your local device. The incognito mode will stop anything new from being added to this list. It is similar to the likes of private browsing within any of the browsers, like Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Edge as I should call it. So like new private window would just not save anything, cookies, temporary files, etc. You may also notice that when I press the button here for incognito, as well as any of the pause options, that the screen no longer refreshes. That is because I've added an API. There's not many features to the API just yet, but this may grow more as the project continues. It is a JavaScript sending post requests to a PHP-based API file. It certainly improves the speed and user interface of this. So yeah, I can sit here on this part of the screen, scroll down, and still pause and unpause or disable and enable blocking. One slight issue is that this box still needs to be changed on the main admin page. <laughs> but you may notice that that little indicator on the left hand side does change. So I've done that bit, just not everything. The theming is adaptive based on the size of the screen and this also works nicely for mobile phones and tablet sized screens. So the side menu has narrowed down, so to access any of the functions here, you just hover over it with the mouse. Reducing its size further, this is going to be a bit distorted because it won't exactly look like a mobile screen, but you'll notice a hamburger menu appears in the top left hand side. So if I click that now, the side menu pops out. So it just saves a bit of space on a mobile phone sized display. And that has been it for the major changes. This feature existed before about the investigate. So yeah, I've decided to now block this uh, telemetry mode from Mozilla. I'm a bit dubious about what they're doing these days. Uh, I do mean to have a look at changing browser. It's a pity really, I've been with Mozilla Firefox for quite a long time now, since about version two, I believe it was. And there's some of the config options and a selection of block lists you can choose to add to the systems. This is just point and click to add any of these lists. And I think this is a fine candidate to add to the API, so you won't have to scroll all the way down and do save changes. It will it'll make the changes immediately as you tick the boxes. That's definitely a feature I want to add. Yeah, let's look at the latest release of NoTrack version 0.8.9, which I've just released. I'll leave a link to the GitHub page in the video description. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.